So your shoulder joint is a bit more 3D right here and you have a little bit more surface area to reach in your shoulder joint. So when using the probe, again, you want a nice flat surface and you're just gonna slowly run your probe down the shoulder, around the joint, but with the shoulder, you're gonna be able to have a little bit more of circumferential coverage here. So coming right around that joint. I find that creating a consistent pattern, I then ensure that I am getting the entire joint region versus focusing on just one side of the joint.